long-range system. This system stimulates the static electric field of a specific target within the search field, if it exists. Then the moving antennas begin to automatically gravitate towards those signals returned from the target. After repeating the search process from several directions and making sure that the antennas point to the same target location every time. Long Range System Search Method for a Specific Target Turn on the device, then choose the Long Range icon from the main screen. Install the PowerMax 25 sensor at the designated entrance, tighten the clamp well, and then install the antennas in its place. A screen will appear to specify the characteristics of the target before the search process. Select the target to search for using the right and left arrows from the screen interface. For example, gold. Choose the front distance. Then choose the depth of the target. Then turn on the laser pointer to better know the direction of the search pointer. Long range system search method. Hold the device handle horizontally towards the front to start the search process. Press the Start button. Then the device starts sending signals through the long-range signal transmitter, where the signals stimulate the electrostatic field of a specific target within the search field, if it exists. Watch the antenna's movement and direction that are heading towards the signals emanating from the target, and when it stops in a certain direction, turn to that direction move two steps forward, and then do that again, and head with the antennas wherever you go until you know where you are pointing. Determining target using custom target method. From the list of targets, choose the custom target, and then press the OK key to have the opportunity to modify the frequency of the desired metal through the left and right arrows to change the thousands digit in the frequency, or through the up and down arrows to modify the frequency in the single number field. You will see that you can decrease or increase the search frequency by a maximum of 25 Hz plus or minus, and that each degree of frequency change adjustment is about 1 Hz. For example, the main frequency of gold is 5000 Hz as a default value. If you set it to plus 5, the frequency will only increase by 5 Hz to 5005 Hz. Or if you set it to minus 10, the frequency will drop from 5000 Hz to 4990 Hz. The user must change the setting and save it when he gets the strongest response from the buried sample. Then select the target front distance, depth, frequency, and follow the previous steps in the search process. Determining target using the box method. The user draws a square around the target that was previously found at a distance of 150 centimeters from the center. Then the user moves towards the second point of the square so that the antennas move towards the target while the user moves from one point to another in the square. Make sure at each of the four corners that the antennas are pointing in the same direction and then you can know that the target you are looking for is at the location of the signal that has been placed and that the search process has been successful. Ion Search System This system detects gold buried for long periods underground. Based on capturing the ion radiations emitted by the metal as a result of its interaction with the soil for long periods, and through this system, the ancient buried gold treasures can be detected easier and faster. Ion System Search Method 
make sure that the PowerMax 25 sensor of the ION system is connected and tighten the bolt well. Turn on the device. Choose the ION system icon from the main screen interface. A screen will appear that contains three items. Balance control on the right side, sensitivity control on the left side, and the signal strength pointer in the middle. Hold the device horizontally towards the front to start the search process. How to use the ION system? Press the grip key and the device will perform the automatic calibration process and identify the search area. Note, if there is a continuous sound, reduce the balance rate until the device is silent. And if it does not respond, lower the sensitivity rate until the sound from the device disappears. When carrying the device and before you move, slowly direct the device to the right until it receives a signal. If no signal was received, turn slowly to the left until receiving a signal. When a signal is received, a sound indicator will react again. Follow the signal place and locate it by moving right, left, up, and down until the signal stabilizes. Then you have located the target.